this is a podcast all about bears. You either cheering for this team or just pulling your hair. Pulling your hair. I like to take a minute and just sit right back and tell you how I became the number one Bears fan. That boy is Benny Hunter. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Hey, boy, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. Of my Talk days. bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. So the Chicago Bears have dropped to a 3-6 and record after dropping to the Miami Dolphins by a score of 35-32. to Once again, guys, all I have to say is Justin Fields is our guy. And I know I've been saying this for weeks and weeks and weeks, but there's been a lot of people doubting Justin Fields, right? Obviously it was a slow start, but these last five games for Justin Fields have been really magical for him. And obviously this is the leap that we needed to see um, going from year one to year two, right? Today, Justin Fields had 123 yards passing with three passing touchdowns and 178 rushing yards for one rushing t- touchdown. Obviously, this was a historical day for Justin Fields on the ground as he broke Michael Vick's single game rushing record with 178 yards. So just a huge game for Justin Fields. You can just see that it's all finally coming together. And it's just so impressive what he is able to do uh, with, with an offensive line that's still being built, right? With the receivers that he's trying to create connections with, right? And it's only going to get better for Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears offense. Obviously, the Bears put up 32 points. Um, so we have to be happy with what we are seeing from Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears offense. Obviously, the defense had a rough day. We all knew that it was going to be a tough task against Tua, uh, Tyreek Hill, and uh, Jalen Waddell. And obviously, Tyreek Hill, I believe, had like 143 yards and a touchdown. Um, there was obviously no answer for those two guys for the entirety of this football game. Obviously, it was going back and forth between the Dolphins offense and the Bears offense. Obviously, the Bears defense um, buckled d- down there at the end um, and got two huge stops to give the Chicago Bears a chance to win. But for the majority of the game, the Chicago Bears defense flat out struggled against Tua, Tyreek Hill, and Jalen Waddle. But obviously, the big storyline of the game was the officiating, especially at the end of this football game. And I'm not going to sit here and say that the refs lost us this football game, right? The Bears had plenty of opportunities. The Bears defense didn't get enough stops for us to win this football game. So I'm not going to sit here and say that the referees... uh, the referees ruined this game for us and, uh, you know, and lost this game for us, right? But it was absolutely putrid. The officiating was absolutely putrid at the end of this football game. Let's start with the Dolphins drive before the Chicago Bears final drive. Obviously, Tua drops back for a pass and he throws it to absolutely no one. Obviously, Bears fans, Matt Eberflus, we were all calling for an intentional grounding And we didn't get it, right? Um, And obviously, they said number 30 was in the area. And obviously, I'll put it up on the screen right now. Number 30 was blocking. He wasn't even going out for a pass. So how in the world is that not intentional grounding? The the, the very next play, Jalen Waddle goes deep. It's an underthrown ball. Uh, Tua goes deep to Jalen Waddle. Sorry about that. And it was an underthrown ball by Tua. And Eddie Jackson's looking at the ball, turned around looking at the ball the whole time. And since it was an underthrown ball... Jalen Wall had to come come back and try to catch the ball, and they called a pass interference on Eddie Jackson. And I'm not sure how this was a pass interference, but it was a pass interference call on Eddie Jackson. The one that has all Bears fans riled up, including myself, was third and ten. Justin Fields dropped back, drops back, and throws deep to Chase Claypool, and the Miami Dolphins cornerback legitly wraps his arms around Chase Claypool and pulls him down before the ball's even to Chase Claypool and pulls him down and it was a no call. You give us that pass interference call that puts the ball, I believe, at the 20-yard line. I think it would have been Miami Dolphins red zone with about a little bit over a minute left. And I guarantee you the Chicago Bears score. The, The Miami Dolphins defense had no answer for Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears offense, but obviously that was a huge no call. And like I said, I'm not saying the refs lost us this game. The Bears defense uh, played 
for the majority of the game, not well at all enough for us to win. Um, but that was a huge no call um, for the Chicago Bears. And I think that would have put us in a really, really good situation to go in and score a go ahead touchdown on the Miami Dolphins. But obviously, before I let you guys go, one of the biggest plays of the game also that kind of really separated, separated us from winning and losing was that blocked punt um, by uh, on Trenton Gill, uh, a big special teams touchdown for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, and and that's also a big factor of a matter of winning and losing this football game. But obviously that no call on the pass interference was absolutely ridiculous. There's no way um, that there shouldn't have been a flag thrown on that play on Chase Claypool. And, and, and like I say all the time, I went on a rant about the ref- referees before on this podcast. Referees need to start being held accountable when they blatantly miss calls like that. You can't call a pass interference on Eddie Jackson that wasn't even anywhere near a pass interference, right? But then on the very next drive, you don't give us that same treatment. You have to throw the flag there. But obviously now we won't know what the outcome would have been if they would have just gave us that call. But all we know now is that that was a terrible call, a terrible no call by the referees. That flag has to be thrown. And and obviously it was a blatant miss by the referees. But like I always say, these refs have to be held accountable when they miss calls like that. But overall, Bears fans, we are now three and six. But obviously, like I like to say every week, did Justin Fields get 1% better? Absolutely. We all know now that Justin Fields is our guy. Now it's just going to be Ryan Pohl's job to build around him. Um, I think Ryan Poles has another, he, he needs to get more defensive linemen, obviously. There was not enough pass rush on Tua. But at least we know that we have our franchise guy. And, and it's starting to become really fun to watch this Bears offense work on Sundays. But like I said, the Chicago Bears dropped 35-32 to Miami Dolphins, dropping their record to 3-6. and six, And we will have another home game next week against the Detroit Lions. So uh, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. How do you guys feel about Justin Fields' big performance against the Miami Dolphins today? Let me know down below in the comment section. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, be back for an all new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.